Okay, welcome everyone to our webinar today. Um, we're so excited to present this uh, topic to you, uh, looking at Let's Talk Tech Plus X Connecting Careers to the Classroom. This webinar is a collaboration between CESA at the University of Adelaide and our friends over at the Refraction Media Careers with STEM team. Uh, they're careers with content specialists, so the perfect people to be partnering to look at how you can incorporate careers content into your classroom. So this is a very quick session today. We're covering uh, a lot of content in 30 minutes, and we're really giving you lots of snippets and tasters looking at uh, the careers landscape, why this is important, and a taster for uh, resources and activity ideas from across both of our organisations, but many other great programs in Australia. So by the end of the session, you'll know where to go to access these resources and find out more uh, and continue your learning in incorporating careers content into the classroom. Uh, before I begin, we'd also like to thank Google Australia for funding this webinar. So webinars are a great place for bringing people together from a wide variety of places. So please tell us where you're joining from while we acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land we're joining from today. So I'm joining from Ghana country on the Adelaide Plains, and I'd like to acknowledge and pay my respects to the Ghana people who are the traditional custodians of the lands on which the university campuses are situated on. Uh, we'd also like to acknowledge the deep feelings of attachment and relationship to country of the traditional owners of the lands from which you're all joining from today. Uh, and we respect and value their past, present and ongoing connection to the lands and cultural beliefs. We'd also like to acknowledge First Nations peoples as the first educators and first STEM innovators. So now I would love to um, hand over, uh, introduce you to Karen Taylor-Brown uh, from Refraction Media, uh, who's going to introduce herself and the work, the incredible work that they've been doing in the careers um, space for um, over ten, well over 10 years now. Uh, so I'm going to hand over to you, Karen. Excellent. Thank you, Beck. Um, thank you for that introduction and hello, everybody. I'd also like to acknowledge the First Nations people on the land that I'm joining you from. I'm joining from Darawal land, which is in the southern suburbs of Sydney, uh, and like to pay my respects to their elders past, present and future. Um, yeah, my name is Karen Taylor-Brown and I'm the co-founder of Refraction Media, which is a STEM specialist media company and we're the publishers of Careers with STEM, which I hope you've seen in your schools or libraries or career offices over the years. We've been publishing Careers with STEM for 10 years um, and it's been a labour of love and something that continues to inspire and excite me. When we first started Careers with STEM 10 years ago or 11 years ago now, we started with the view that we wanted to create a smarter future where everybody had um, an equ equitable access to the jobs of the future. Um, basically at that time, things like AI prompt engineer or driverless car engineer or big data scientists were thought of as the jobs of the future. But right now, they're the jobs of now. Um, and the, these jobs of the future are here right now. And it's more important than ever that we get our young people to understand the incredible opportunities that are arising with the technology uh, as it develops. Um, when we first started Careers with STEM, the challenge we wanted to solve was the fact that STEM and particularly jobs in computer science were accelerating at an unprecedented rate. But at that time, students just weren't enrolling in STEM degrees. And in fact, they were even in decline in some areas and also very underrepresented, underrepresented by women and other minorities. So we wanted to create a platform where every young person could see themselves in a STEM career, but we also wanted to really shift the dial on what those perceptions are and the pathways to those careers. So um, it's more important than ever that young people have these opportunities, especially at a foundational level of their education. And I'm really excited to be talking to you today about how we can incorporate the, the content that I create at Careers with STEM within classrooms all over Australia. Oops, that's the wrong way. That way. So if you're not familiar, Careers with STEM is a multi 
a multimedia platform all aimed at young people, particularly students in years seven to 12 probably, but also stretching into primary school, trying to help them understand how they can prepare and be excited about the jobs of the future. So it includes a print magazine that's uh, delivered directly to every secondary school in Australia four times per year. And you can see on my background, I've got the four issues of the year. So we look at a different STEM foundation each issue, which comes out each term. So term one is science, term two is maths and data, term three is engineering, and term four is technology. Um, the print magazine is a great way to engage a student student one on one. It's a really super portable medium, as in you can give it to a student, they can take it home, show it to their parents, tear out a page for inspiration. Um, but it's also ab has absolutely no barriers to access. It doesn't matter what the Wi-Fi is like, what sort of access to technology students have. Um, print is something that everybody can can use and, and consume. But at the same time, we also have a website, careerswithstem.com, that I'm going to be taking you through as well. And that's where everything that's been in the magazine appears and is easy to search based on your interest area or just using the search tool there as well. So the main goal of Careers with STEM is threefold. First of all, we want to challenge stereotypes. A lot of people, and it's not just young people, it's everybody, has stereotypes around what STEM careers are and who can do them. So we try to showcase a different persona of a STEM career professional. We also, the second objective is to celebrate diversity. So we make sure there's really diverse representation in terms of gender and culture, but also regional versus metro, SES factors, um, diversity of ability, and every measure of diversity. We really want every student who picks up careers of STEM to see someone that they can relate to within the magazine. And also the third goal of it is to showcase the multitude of career pathways um, that students can take or anyone can take if they want a career within the ste within STEM, which let's face it is going to be almost every job. So hopefully that's something that you can find useful. Um, what I wanted to show you as well here, just to go through kind of quickly, this is just a screenshot of our website and I can deep dive into it a bit more shortly, but you can see one of the overarching, I guess, narratives or frameworks that we use is what we call STEM plus X. So we talk about STEM being a foundation, not a destination. The skills that students use in studying STEM subjects can be used in all types of careers. And also it's a myth that if you study a STEM subject, be it, be it science or maths or any of it, you, you will necessarily end up as a scientist or a math mathematician. We kind of really embrace the concept of using STEM foundations to be um, a launching pad to any career. So you can see on the um, right-hand side of the slide there, we've got a, a whole category that's called STEM plus X, where students can search, students and teachers can search STEM careers by their X or their passion or an area that they're super interested in or an area that's set to boom. So we find it's a really great way to connect with students, especially if they don't see themselves in STEM. Um, I don't know how many of you heard, have heard people say, oh, I'm just not good at maths or I'm not techie, I'm more creative. The truth is STEM careers are for everybody. And by using the STEM plus X NAV tool, you can kind of start the conversation by talking about a student's interests, whether it's animals or whether it's cybersecurity or it could be fashion and beauty. We've categorized all our STEM career information into about 12 X's. Um, so it could be anything from crime and justice, environment, oceans, and much, much more. So that we can you can start your conversations with students where they have the most interest. So the next question might be, why? Why are we doing this? Why is it important to talk to students about STEM careers? Well, the fact is that demand for digital skills just can't be underestimated. The Australian government and the Australian Tech Employer Network have shared a commitment to create 1.2 million jobs in tech by 2030, which is only five and a half years away now. Um, and the reason we need that many people in tech is because we want... Um, we want Australians around the country to access these jobs. We really want these young, these workers to be solving some of our really challenging problems that we're facing. These jobs are critical to Australia's future and they're among the fastest growing, best paid, most secure and most flexible jobs in Australia. And they have half the gender pay, pay gap of other high paying industries. So industry and government are approaching this shortfall in three ways. 
One is they want to increase the number of people who can come into Australia to work in tech jobs. They also want to retrain the current Australian tech uh, workforce so that they can move into tech careers. But increasingly, they want to really focus on increasing digital literacy in kids, particularly girls, to get them ready for these jobs as they work through their education. So it's important to engage students in STEM career insights at all ages. Research tells us that hearing about STEM careers in childhood definitely influences a student's choices in high school. Um, so at primary, school, a, at, at primary school age, talking about careers is more about exploration, I suppose, whereas at a high school age, it's more about pathways. Um, some research that was recently commissioned by the National Careers Institute showed that from the age of seven, children's aspirations are affected by stereotypes. So it's really important that we have diverse stereotypes in front of young people. Uh, it's also important that career-related learning starts from the age of five. That's what this research discovered. Um, it also discovered that 96% of teachers agreed that it's important to introduce children to the world of work at primary school. And 94% think it's important for volunteers from the world of work to engage with children and talk about their journey. The research also showed that key, a key influencer on what sort of job a primary student thinks they might like to do includes the jobs that their parents do and the jobs that their parents' friends do, the jobs that they see on TV and the jobs that they see on social media. So as you can imagine, this can produce traditional career dreams like doctor or nurse that you often see in television shows, but it can also produce hard to attain dreams like professional footballer or YouTuber, where just a fraction of people that dream of that job actually do it. Also it introduces the question that what happens if a child's parents don't work in STEM or tech? How are they ever gonna get exposed to these jobs or be influenced in the future without that direct contact? And you might like to consider yourself and your career journey, who influenced you as a student or early career professional? What was it about them that helped you connect with them? And how did you decide on your study or career pathways? Because everyone's got a super interesting story on how they ended up where they are. And that can give a lot of insight into what's going through the minds of a, a student as well. So today what we're going to do is share some ideas about how you can incorporate career inspiration discussions into your classrooms. So what I wanted to show you uh, is just kind of take you on a quick journey of Careers with STEM website um, that you can look at yourself at some point. So this is the homepage, Careers with STEM, and you'll see across the nav bar here, it's easily um, it's easy to see what sections to go to. So STEM plus X is our general discussion around STEM plus X careers, which could be anything. This student's area here is really focused on uh, higher, high, higher level high school students who are looking at their next steps. So it gives some insights on subject selection, what's going on at university open days, do they want to go to uni and how can they navigate that process, or do they want to pursue a vocational education and training course? We have a grad section here, which is actually for um, people already at uni, but still may not know what career they want to do. We've got a whole section here for teachers. I'll just click on that, where you can find access to all sorts of resources. So we've got our job kits here, which I'll tell you a little bit more about. We also promote when we're doing webinars or we have other specials on there that your students might be interested in. You can sign up to our newsletter. You can check out our latest issues, either read them online for free, or you can also order copies there. Um, and we've got these fantastic posters that you can download and print out in A3 for free as well. We've got a parents portal here. So if you've got any engaged parents, they might like to come here and it just gives them a little bit of insight about how to connect with their, their, their child as they're thinking about career ideas. And it's this STEM plus X, which I suppose gets the most traffic. And that's where the conversations can really start. So as you can see, you can scroll through and find a particular area of a student. So it might be animals or disaster management or education. But don't worry if they don't know, we've also got a quiz that they can take that kind of points them in the right direction. So using animals as an example, which a lot of children and students are interested in, they just don't know how to get there and their traditional idea might be to become a vet, but there are so many other ways that you can build a career uh, where you wanna work with animals. So by coming in here, you get all sorts of articles on people that are currently 
working in animals but using STEM as a foundation. So it might be using tech to measure native populations. It might be um, looking at how, how an ecology PhD student works or um, uh, let's see, um, looking at how to work with reptiles. There's all sorts of inspirational stories. And also this section here gives all the different um, role models that work with animals and have combined their tech skills within that area. So there's quite a lot to go through in there. And I really invite you to just browse it and, and also keep coming back to it. If you sign up to the newsletter, you'll find out when our new editions are coming out and when there's, um, you know, new specials happening that you can tap into. So that's how I would suggest that you share our career advisors as well as teachers share it. But there's also ways of sharing it within curriculum areas. So for example, there's the opportunity to review the text within Careers with STEM in English classes. We work with Australian journalists who interview Australian STEM professionals, uh, and it's written in a tone that's designed to uh, really talk to and engage with young people. So it's quite dynamic and high energy. So it could be a great example of how to, you know, look at contemporary writing within an English class or literacy. It's also, I've heard, been used in design and technology classes. So some of the topics that are in within those subject areas include writing for web, reviewing navigation, data gathering. So I've spoken with teachers in those areas who have used the careerswithstem.com website as a source for, for those areas that they're teaching. And it can also be used in science. Um, a lot of, most of the stories and profiles can be used within part of the science's human endeavor curriculum. And I just wanted to show you a few examples of what other teachers have and how they've incorporated careers with STEM into their own lesson plans. So this was a teacher from a primary school in regional New South Wales. Um, she got just, she chose an article from the magazine. This one was where can, where computer science can take you. And then she mapped it to her literacy activities um, by getting the students to read the article. Um, her activity number one was meta language. She looked at capital letters, numeracy activities, finding the numbers in the text. And I just thought it was a really interesting way to kind of do a cross-curricular review of this career's information within a classroom. She was an amazing teacher. She went on to do writing exercises based on the, the text that she chose for the students. So she told them to choose a prompt below and compose a short written response based on the content of the article that they read. Um, and also looked at, um, you know, looking at data sets um, as well and how, how some of the people that were interviewed in the magazine use data in their careers. I also wanted to show you an example of a job kit. Um, so job kits are the next step to the magazine, I suppose, where the Careers with STEM magazine is all about aspiration and inspiration. The job kits are really uh, focused on a particular job. So this example is nutrition scientist. And I just had a discussion with some teachers about how it can be integrated into classrooms. And it crosses lots of curriculums, like the science curriculum, health and physical education curriculum, as well as general capabilities. So we have a back catalog of about 40 job kits on our website. I'll just show you a little um, look at them here. Uh, so if you go to the products page, job kits, you can find the catalog there and they're really specific on the jobs of the future. So anything from cybersecurity analyst, green chemist, a nurse, even though a nurse is a traditional job, nurses don't work in a traditional way anymore and they do have strong STEM foundational skills. Uh, right through to metaverse engineer, conservation biologists. So they're all free to download and they're delivered as digital products. Um, and it'd be really interesting to hear how any of you incorporate it within the classrooms as well. Uh, and this one here I wanted to especially talk about because we worked with the University of Adelaide team to produce what we call the junior job kit. So the job kits I just mentioned are predominantly aimed at high school students, but we wanted to do something for primary school students as well. So this is what we came up with. Um, so it kind of looks at di digital technologies as a whole, but you can see it's designed in a really dynamic way with short amounts of um, text there and really easy to navigate. It's got lots of links to videos and other resources that students can, can look into. And this one focused on sustainability, 
health and medical, as well as space and conservation. So we really picked out some exciting areas that students would be interested in and kind of listed things that would be relevant to them. So some short career snapshots of people that maybe appeared in careers with STEM, we've really condensed them down to the basics here. And we've also listed some of the jobs that they might look into, like space researcher, robotics engineer, cybersecurity specialist, just to get these terms within their minds, within their scope of options for when they progress through the education system. Um, and I also wanted to share an opportunity, which is going to be open, well, it's open now, it's not launched yet, so it's a bit of a sneak peek, but from um, for, for this year, we've partnered with Google on the Careers with STEM technology issue, and they have offered Australian secondary schools, but at a pinch, they might be also open to primary schools, the opportunity to pre-order 100 free magazines from the term for 2024 edition. So it hasn't been printed yet, but we're offering schools in Australia and New Zealand the chance to pre-order up to 100 copies. You don't have to order 100, you might only want 30 for your class, but if you wanted to share them around the school across multiple classes, here's your opportunity to get a whole bunch of physical magazines in the classroom. And they can be used for all sorts of things, like we were just talking about literacy, but also creative areas as well. So I hope you can take advantage of that opportunity. I think all the links will be sent out to you afterwards as well. And yeah, it's been great to be able to share some of this with you. I hope you found it useful. And I'll hand back to the University of Adelaide team. Thanks, Karen. Oh, that's amazing to hear the news about Google supporting uh, free magazines for schools. That's excellent. So jump on and um, put your orders in uh, for that one. Um, we just absolutely love the Careers with STEM magazines and every edition just blows us away with all the different amazing options and possibilities and the creativity that comes with, you know, tech careers as well as the other STEM areas. Um, and even in our own work at the CESAR, in the CESAR team, um, you know, we look to Careers with STEM as a, a tool to find professional learning contexts and activity ideas for the work that we do and also for our courses. So we've loved um, using the STEM magazines. Um, so I just wanted to also point out um, for the job kit, we've linked the junior job kit in with our Digital Technologies Plus X course for the primary years. So you can download it there. And all of the themes actually uh, tie into the themes that we selected for that course, looking at sustainability, um, connecting to mathematics and um, other areas as well. So I'm just going to hand over to uh, Celia Koffer, who's one of our project officers for the CESAR Digital Technologies uh, programs. So within our um, courses, we have a number of career profiles that we've highlighted at different stages, um, and they're presented as downloadable PDF documents in very um, simple format. You, these ones would be most suitable for primary school also some secondary school areas. And in the busy curriculum, we're really aware that um, perhaps there isn't a spot exactly to have a careers lesson, but there is certainly heaps of literacy lesson opportunities. So on the next slide, we've um, suggested just a few possible ways of engaging students in this content area of um, examining different STEM careers, but within perhaps literacy op opportunities. Um, so you can see some of the ideas, including after they've done some research, either from, from the case studies that we have in our courses or from the fantastic materials that are on the Careers with STEM course um, site, they could perhaps do any, you know, some of, if not all of these type of activities where they could create a storyboard for an infomercial, infomercial video. Infomercial video. Um, or even just consider that they, if they are going to interview somebody for, that does one of these careers, the process of creating questions is a highly challenging task for students, but it's a great one to make them really unpack the ideas and the thinking that you would want them to do after reading um, the uh, material that's provided. Or perhaps writing a persuasive letter to a friend to say why they could perhaps consider a certain career or um, writing headlines and um, taglines. A headline or a tagline is an amazing um, process. In order to be able to write a really simple headline or a tagline for a document, you really need to have understood the, um, the text that you've read. Uh, creating infographics, um, identifying the technology involved in the different courses. There's so many different ways that students can process the text that they read in this content area and also use different technologies as well. So some amazing resources that we, we are aware of that the um, GIST, so the Girls in STEM program, 
presented are some other really cute examples that we thought that we'd share with you. So yes, thanks, Karen, on to the next slide. Um, the She Did What um, competition highlighted some fantastic different ways to actually process um, information and create different tech, different types of uh, resources or different types of presentations that, um, comp that uh, expose the students' understanding about what they'd read. So there's just a three that we'll share here. This first one was a student um, who uh, unpacked information around uh, Annette Brody and her career, and um, she created they created a stop motion video. Um, most people will be familiar with the stop motion video. It requires a fair bit of tech, but also to create the um, storyboard and the whole process of creating it is an amazing synthesis of all the information they've learned. Um, the next two, uh, so a stop motion video, another student created a new style video, obviously the, the, um, the literacy involved in creating a whole um, script for a news report is high, high level thinking um, and also exposes, um, makes them unpack the information they've read about the person. So Carly Noon was the um, content, was the, the subject of that particular work. And the last one, just quickly sharing, I know we're short on time, um, is another way which is a student created a, uh, an animated video. So instead of just, write, not just writing um, simple book reports type, type um, responses, there's a number of different creative ways that engage both um, ICT as well as so many literacy skills. I think that summarizes the different ways. Back to you, Beck. And then um, just jumping, I might skip that slide Karen and go to the next one. Um, so within each of our courses, we also, um, as I mentioned, we look to the careers with STEM material to weave it into our content. So we run professional learning courses for teachers that are free to enrol in. And uh, we like to introduce these real world case studies and careers profiles to help teachers also understand uh, you know, what the possibilities are and sort of the links that you can make with the learning activities um, that we're proposing in the classroom. So I've got here a couple of examples from our Digital Technologies Plus X course, but all of them we we um, look to introduce careers content and we've partnered with Refraction Media um, to develop some really interesting case studies and connections there. Someone else who does this really well is the Digital Technologies Hub. Uh, and they um, have a lot of great resources on their website where they've taken something like a real data set that a scientist or a STEM professional is using and then um, developing a lesson activity around how students can use that data set um, or they create a context that's really interesting based on a career profile and then um, perhaps something where students are using robotics or some programming activities to bring that to life as well. Another group that do an excellent job, um, Celia mentioned, the Girls in STEM Toolkit. They also have a number of um, similar style activities where they're making those connections for teachers uh, within the learning activities. I'd also like to point out, um, I did some research for Education Services Australia around how to um, uh, develop gender inclusive learning environments. Um, we developed a classroom guide, which is a, really exciting to see that they've turned that into an online course um, that's free to for anyone to do online. So you just need to jump onto their website. Um, and within that, um, something that's of interest here is you could learn about um, principle four, which is focused on connecting learning to careers and role models. And they've got some really excellent evidence-based information, practical classroom strategies, and reflection questions if you were to say do that for a, a teacher professional learning um, event in your school. They also have stories from women in STEM, um, just on the next slide there, um, that showcase um, different career pathways. So students or teachers could look at different careers profiles and then find out, you know, how do um, people nav navigate through these careers? And it's not always um, linear or obvious, as Karen mentioned. Um, there can be different ways to get into a particular career and a variety of experience that goes with that. Um, and then lastly, we just wanted to also hi highlight another great resource is the Future You program, which is an initiative from the Australian Government's Women in STEM Ambassador. Um, that was funded um, to build um, awareness raising initiatives designed to increase awareness about STEM careers for students aged 8 to 12. Um, and as well as teachers and parents. 
And um, on there, they've got a great series called Pathfinders, where you can look at different career profiles of people in STEM across different industries. And within that, they've also built some learning activities that you can use in the classroom. So here on the screen, I've got um, an example from their capability convos. Um, this can be run as a Q&A activity in class, and it involves um, an interactive game with 10 questions which they've created for you. And students view um, a type of media. So in this case, it's a video. And then they play this question game based uh, on the topics from the media that they've just read or viewed. And so these questions could inspire classroom activities uh, previously mentioned, like previ um, persuasive texts and things that uh, Celia was mentioning. But this is also a great activity and, and resource for you to use. Uh, so we've gone through um, quite a lot of resources today uh, within the 30 minutes, and we just really wanted to keep to time. We'll send out um, an email to people who are watching live, um, and for those who are watching the on demand, we'll put the resources um, below in the in the information. Um, so we'd just like to say thank you so much for joining us today. Um, it's been brilliant to have you here and to partner with such an incredible team such as Refraction Media who do amazing work. We just love to see all of the new highlights and things that are always coming out. Um, you can find more information about Refraction Media's work on the Careers with STEM website and you can also find more uh, about our work on the caesarmooks.adelaide.edu.au website. Um,